Before you watch this video, the link in the description where you can buy this product is actually linked to a newer version of this product because the older one that I'm reviewing is no longer made. But the new one should work just as well and has pretty much the same features. Hey guys, Dave, welcome back to DJ Media. In this video, we're taking a look at the Diamond external USB sound card. <laughs> So this is going to be a, a quick review of what this product is and what it does. So basically, it's what it says. It's an external sound card. So I used this back when I used to do most of my work on an iMac. And uh, because the iMacs didn't have USB, or sorry, they didn't have audio inputs um, other than what you can put in over USB. So I needed something to hook up a mic to, for example, when I had like a, like a headset. Um, so what this is is it has a whole bunch of inputs and outputs on the side here. So it's got a line in, a mic in, it's got forward, it's got sides, a uh, base, and center out for 7.1 uh, uh, digital surround sound, which is really cool. So if you're watching a film that has support for that, um, you can hook up all your outputs to this device and you can have a full surround sound experience over USB 2, which is really cool. It also has a headphone out, so you can put audio out through this. Now, something else that I used to do on the iMac is um, is I wanted to record desktop and a microphone. So what I did is I went into uh, you can create like an aggregate device within Window or within Mac OS to create a multi-input device. So what I did is I took the headphone out, looped it into the uh, into the line in, and put my headphones a headset into the mic jack. That way we combine them uh, using the um, uh, combining feature in Mac OS. So that's pretty uh, darn awesome. It also has SPDIF in and out as well for uh, optical audio if you're running something that uses that. On the top you have a mute uh, and volume control for the computer. This will control the computer's volume, not your whatever you're plugging into. That, will be, that has to be um, done on the actual device that you're plugging into it. And it's also got a, a mute um, for um, the uh, mic input, which is pretty cool. So um, if your uh, headset doesn't have a built-in mute button, uh, you can just hit this button here and it will uh, mute it for you. Um, it has two status uh, indicator LEDs on the top. Uh, green means it's uh, powered, I'm pretty sure. And blue uh, is when you have um, something muted, I believe. So I would have liked to see red for mute which makes a little bit more sense, but whatever. But hey, this is a pretty cheap sound card. I think when I got it, it was only like 30 bucks. Um, it might have gone up by now, I don't know. And uh, it's also driverless, which is really cool. So you just plug it in and it works. And like I said before, it is compatible on Mac OS and Windows. Um, since I got my Windows PC, I haven't needed to use it. But it does work on both of those platforms without drivers, without installing any kind of software. So it just works right out of the box. It is a plug and play device. Now, audio quality wise, it's it's fine. I, there's no, I haven't, at least in my uh, unit here, this may vary across um, everybody's unit. I haven't seen any or heard any buzzing, any hissing, any like dropped uh, frequencies. Everything seems to be pretty good, uh, especially for how cheap it is. I mean, it's glossy plastic. It's it's entirely made out of plastic. So build quality isn't, you know, uh, like shit level. But what I mean by shit is the, the audio hardware manufacturer, shit, S-H-I-I-T. Check them out, I'll leave a link below. Uh, they make really good like headphone amps and um, DACs, stuff like that. So, so compared to something like that, it's it's it, this is shit with one eye. Uh, but it works fine. Um, mine's a little bit beat up because I've been using it for years. Um, I haven't used it in a while, but it, I, it uh, does work just fine. It's got a nice big uh, mini B, right? Is that mini B? No, it's just Type-B. That's just uh, USB 2 Type-B. So that's that. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty good card. If you need um, if you need audio inputs or you want easy uh, 7.1 surround output, um, this is a great device. Like if you have an iMac or a MacBook Pro, I don't think the MacBooks, I don't think any of Apple's products except for the um, Mac Mini? Except for the Mac Mini and the 
Mac Pro, current Mac Pro, um, have audio inputs, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, this is a great solution for you. So I'll leave a link to go buy this in the description. And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy it when you use it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.